University of Conscious Science Recognitions. I was out filming a video, and all of a sudden when I played it back, I noticed this image in it. This is kind of a weird image, and I couldn't believe that I'm seeing this in my video, but it is. And that image is an image of Bahamut. I'm going to superimpose it so you can see what I'm talking about. Whenever the ancestors send me a sign, I know that it's something for me to investigate because they're trying to tell me something. So upon further research, I said, let me look into this Bahamut character. And sure enough, it has all Egyptian symbology. He's the owl. He played Thoth. That's hidden on the dollar bill. That's why they worship that dollar bill. And he also has one hand up, one hand down, three fingers and two fingers. It looks like he created the black nation, left hand down, three fingers, and the white nation, right hand up, two fingers. This can be proven, and I can see it also in the old Egyptian pictograph of Bahamut with the man on the potter's wheel. You can see one hand forward and one hand is back. This is all Egyptian symbology. You can see how the pharaohs had one hand up and one hand down, holding the penis. This is all Egyptian work that we don't know about in secret science that we overlook. Later on, they change it to the rod and the staff. And the rod and the scepter symbolizes one hand up and one hand down. It's the same Bahamut that plays the sun as is the bull. As you can see, he has his little creatures that inhibit fire, the lion and the tiger and the ape. And they come and they possess man. He's also the bull, the eagle. And when he gets inside your body and possess you, man make these masks and these images to symbolize that their higher um, dimension is being used or whatever by an entity. That's why you see all these different masks of these Bahamut figures that you think is ram, bulls, and all that. But it's all the same, Bahamut. That's all it is. That's how it looks when you're possessed. They're trying to say that they have a possession by him. He endowed them with gifts, knowledge, and the power to do all the things you do. As you can see, they got him as a ram in most of these pictures, but it's not a ram. It's really the dragon. Bahamut is the dragon. This dates back way back. It goes back to the Draco constellation of El. That's why you see the Mayans, the Incas, all of them have them in their pictographs. You can see the dragons on this pharaoh head. This goes back to the Asa'uru, where you get your Nibiru, your Heru, Aset, and all that language for. This is ancient Egyptian. He also shapes this into the crocodile and into the cat. You can use the cat against him. Our ancestors left us some science. It's not about demonic stuff. They was trying to teach you all along how to get these entities off you. They've been suckling and feeding off a man since the beginning of time. They left us the Book of Gates and the Book of the Dead and show us how to bury ourselves and left the spells to take them off of us. This is the new age of science, University of Conscious Science.